Right now, arguments underway in the lawsuit against Wisconsin's 1849 abortion ban. What the attorney general wants from this first hearing. Plus, the Kentucky Derby off to an ominous start after multiple horses die, all within a few days at Churchill Downs. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now at Noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leah Lynchide in for Mark this afternoon. We begin at the state capitol and the start of a major legal battle over Wisconsin's 1849 abortion law. Attorney General Josh Call filed the suit shortly after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last summer. That decision meant Wisconsin reverted to its law from 1849 that penalizes providers who perform abortions, even in cases of rape or incest. Call argues the language of the ban is too vague. Today's hearing will determine if the ban is constitutional and whether the case can move forward. Continuing coverage now on a stolen car case from the east side. Deputies say the driver, a 13-year-old girl. A group of five minors was on the Beltline when law enforcement recognized the vehicle was stolen. Deputies tried to stop the car, but it sped off, eventually crashing into another vehicle near Buckeye Road. The teens kept driving until it stopped on Stoughton Road. Then they tried to run from police. All five were arrested, four of them sent to the juvenile reception center. A 17-year-old passenger was taken to the jail. No one was hurt in the crash. Well, it's a 106-year-old landmark that defines the city of Madison, the Capitol building. The unique architecture, rare marble, and hand-carved stone throughout the structure make it picture perfect. The Capitol we see today is actually the third building our state used. So our team raised the question, how much would it cost to rebuild it today? Finding the people that do the gold leaf work and find the people that do the plaster, not just creating flat walls, but the arches and the shadow boxes and all of those types of things. That you have to look around the country to find the right people to do that. And Priceless architecture. Tonight you're going to see why the number we discovered, it's just the start. Our Catherine Merck brings you the price of perfection tonight at six. 12.02 on your Thursday. Let's head out to the weather patio where meteorologist Jacob Montesano has a look at our first warm weather. Hi, Jacob. Hey, it is absolutely gorgeous outside. Temperatures are already well into the 60s, and in general, we are seeing partly sunny to mostly sunny skies. Winds at the south at 11 miles per hour. That's a big reason why the temperatures are so warm is because the winds are out of the south. Here's a look at the current temperatures across our area, already in the lower 70s in the western uh, part of the state. Out towards the lake, though, temperatures are in the lower 60s, and further north and east over in Manitowoc, it's actually still in the 40s, so definitely a lot nicer here and off to the west of Madison. And if we take a look at Doppler track, mostly dry right now, although we do have the chance for some showers during the overnight hours. But during the afternoon, we will see a high temperature of around 71 degrees for Madison, partly sunny skies, mild temperatures, winds out of the south, southeast at 6 to 12 miles per hour. So perfect recipe for a beautiful afternoon. And as we head into the evening, it's going to continue to be nice. It will still be around 60 degrees at 10 p.m. So if you want to spend your evening outside, you're more than welcome to. It is going to be absolutely gorgeous. You may not even need a coat. Uh, it's hard to get better than it is right now. But unfortunately, although the temperatures aren't going to change, we do have the chance for some rain over the weekend and next week. I'll have the details a little bit later in the show. All right, Jacob, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. 1203 now. Russian forces are attacking Ukraine this morning in retaliation for a drone hit on the Kremlin. They say was an attempt on Vladimir Putin's life. Overnight, Russian forces unleashed a wave of attacks on several Ukrainian cities. That country says it destroyed more than a dozen drones headed toward their capital. Now, a top Russian official is accusing the U.S. of masterminding the Kremlin attack, criticizing its continued assistance for Ukraine. A ludicrous claim the United States had nothing to do with this. We don't even know exactly what happened here. Some forces in Moscow are now calling for the direct targeting of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Back stateside in Georgia, the suspect in a deadly shooting at a medical office building is in jail this afternoon. It comes after a nearly eight-hour manhunt. Atlanta police say one person is dead, four others injured. 24-year-old Dayon Patterson is charged with murder and four counts of aggravated assault. According to his mother, he's a former Coast Guard member who became violent during an appointment because he couldn't get a prescription for anxiety medicine. He ended up stealing a truck at a nearby gas station, then driving to a neighboring county where he was later found at a condo complex. Well, Kentucky Derby Week, off to a bit of a troubling start. Four horses dying within five days at Churchill Downs in Louisville. Astrid Martinez has a report from New York. 
The recent deaths of four horses at Churchill Downs is casting a shadow over this year's Kentucky Derby. This is a coincidence. I mean, you know, horses do get hurt occasionally, but but to have four or, or whatever the number is right now in, in so few a days is very unusual. Two of the deaths involve horses trained by Safi Joseph Jr., a famous trainer. He says it's not clear what happened. Blood work revealed nothing out of the ordinary. Two other horses, including Derby contender Wild on Ice, had to be euthanized after getting hurt. Horses are, are putting out everything they have and they're, you know, they're going upwards of 40 miles an hour. Churchill Downs released a statement saying, while a series of events like this is highly unusual, it is completely unacceptable. We take this very seriously and acknowledge that these troubling incidents are alarming and must be addressed. I think we're just running into a bad streak here. I think you'll see it play out where we go for a long time with no, with no injuries and no, and, uh, no deaths. So. Uh, hopefully, anyway. The situation brings back painful memories from 2019, when 42 horses died at California's Santa Anita Park. Those incidents did lead to some safety reforms. Astrid Martinez, CBS News. In a statement to the Associated Press, the head of the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority says it intends to conduct an analysis of the fatalities. It will share those findings once the full investigation is complete. The 149th Kentucky Derby is set to run on Saturday. Well, new this afternoon, three-time Olympic gold medalist Tori Bowie has died. The American sprinter and long jumper was found dead at her Florida home yesterday. Bowie won three medals at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. She also won two gold medals at the 2017 World Championships. Bowie's last official competition was last year. USA Track and Field said in a statement her impact on the sport is immeasurable. She was just 32 years old. 12.07 now. There's more to come on News 3 at noon. Changes could be coming to Facebook's Messenger app, all to help keep your kids' data safe. What your family needs to know that's coming up after the break. You're watching News 3 now at noon. Have you heard? We've outgrown our space again. Save up to half off floor samples and special orders at Dwellings Construction Sale. Dwellings, interior design and home furnishing. Still Madison's best kept $150 secret. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Non-drowsy Claritin knocks out symptoms from over 200 allergens without knocking you out. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin clear. Are record high energy and water costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive. While you may not ask for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to be without heat, water, or power. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.heat.help. Leisure Concepts has your new hot tub in stock and ready for immediate delivery. Steel and composite construction and the perimeter insulation is so quiet. We'll deliver everything you need to easily keep your hot tub crystal clear, including knowledge. That neck deep hot water massage feels amazing every day of the year. You'll never get tired of it. Get to Leisure Concepts and see almost 70 hot tubs that are ready for immediate delivery to your backyard. Fry Construction is celebrating 28 years with a big, big, big anniversary sale. Join us to save 28%. That's right, 28%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Act now for 28% off gutters with any full roofing project. Schedule your free consultation today at fryconstruction.com. Have you heard? We've outgrown our space. Again. 
Save up to half off floor samples and special orders at Dwellings Construction Sale. Dwellings, interior design and home furnishings. Still Madison's best kept $150 secret. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates another quarter of a percentage point yesterday in an effort to crush inflation. That pushes the Fed's key benchmark rate to its highest level in roughly 16 years. But the Federal Reserve also indicated it could pause rate increases in the future to assess the impact of monetary policy on the economy. There are also new concerns of more possible turmoil in the banking industry. Shares of PacWest Bancorp plummeted more than 50% after trading ended Wednesday, following a Bloomberg News report that it could be exploring options, including a potential sale. The mid-sized California-based bank has around $44 billion in assets. It comes just days after J.P. Morgan stepped in to buy most of another mid-sized institution, First Republic Bank. And the Federal Trade Commission says Meta misled parents and failed to protect the privacy of children using its Facebook Messenger Kids app. The agency is proposing sweeping changes to a 2020 privacy order with the social media company that would prohibit it from profiting from data it collects from users under 18, including through its virtual reality products and other safety measures. Meta says it will fight the changes, calling the announcement a political stunt and accusing the FTC of usurping the authority of Congress to set industry-wide standards. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. At the noon hour, the Dow down 370 points right now. NASDAQ down 48, the S&P 500 down 28 points. 12-12 now next at noon. We'll have today's ag prices and Jacob's back with your latest forecast. Then today on Live at 4, we're going to meet a couple in our Traveler Throwback Thursday who will bowl you over. It's the Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale on now with a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home including all new power lift chairs and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. Low E, also known as low energy, is wreaking havoc on millions. I can't even pull out the hose. Thankfully, there's Planet Fitness. Now through May 10th, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time. It's how you turn your low E into big fitness energy. Our clean and spacious, judgment-free zone has equipment for every workout to keep you energized all day. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month. No commitment, cancel any time. Deal ends Wednesday, May 10th. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Spring has sprung. Visit Menards Garden Center for everything you need to get your garden growing. Choose from hundreds of beautiful, colorful flowers, lush trees and shrubs, and everything in between. Menards Garden Center is back in bloom. Stop in and get your garden on today. Assorted varieties of potted annuals are just $4.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. It's the Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home, including all new custom sofas and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. How do you do all of this? Chloe Bailey is unbreakable. Stretching is key. You ain't got to tell me because I ain't gonna try to do it, girl. <laughs> Plus, Kelvin Harrison Jr. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Farmers and makers set up shop to kick off their 20th season right here in the 608. Tomorrow, Josh finds out what's new and who's back at the Monona Farmers Market. And we'll be tracking the rain chances to close out the work week on Friday. Join us tomorrow between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. 
Welcome back, quarter after 12. Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report, out of the radio barn one more day. She'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, here's a look at your farm numbers today. can sometimes develop debilitating symptoms. The most effective treatment is hormone therapy, but many doctors won't prescribe it. However, as Dr. Malika Marshall reports, things are changing. When 52-year-old Vogel James developed exhaustion and night sweat, she thought she was coming down with something. But it wasn't the flu, it was menopause. I was just like... Clutch my pearls. What do you mean, menopause? Like 30 years ago, most women like Vogel were given estrogen, often with progesterone, not only to treat menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, fatigue, and mood swings, but also to reduce their risk of chronic disease. Then a landmark study published in JAMA in 2002 found a small increased risk of heart disease and breast cancer in women taking hormones. The women in the study skewed older with an average age of 63, yet women in their 40s and 50s were told to stop using their hormones. The report led to a great deal of alarm. Dr. Joanne Manson was a lead author of the study. And it was never stated by the WHI investigators that women taking hormone therapy should immediately toss their pills and patches. But that is how the results were interpreted. And a 70 to 80 percent reduction in the use of hormones, leaving millions of women without relief and most clinicians not even willing to discuss them as an option. But that's changing. You should be able to feel your, the best version of yourself on every single day. Dr. Tara Iyer is a menopause specialist at the Brigham. The data, frankly, shows that in healthy, younger women with no contraindications, the benefits far outweigh the risks. We started on estrogen, and it's been game changer. And that's what I want women to have is control of their menopause. Just like she does. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston. If you're having trouble finding a provider to discuss the risks and benefits of hormones, you can go to menopause.org. It provides a list of local clinicians trained in menopause management. 1218 now, warm weather here to stay, but we could see some rain. Jacob has the latest. Hey there. Yeah, right now we are going to continue to see the 60s and 70s, and really this is going to continue for the foreseeable future. So that's definitely the good news, but we are going to see some showers, especially tonight through Saturday morning. And then much of next week, we're going to have some pretty unsettled weather. Not going to see complete washouts, but there are several chances of showers and storms. But first, as I mentioned this afternoon, going to be absolutely gorgeous, borderline perfect with highs in the lower 70s, partly sunny skies, and the winds are going to be rather calm. But during those overnight hours, we are we are going to see some chance of showers, but the low temperatures are only going to be around 50 degrees. So the overnight lows are going to be fairly mild. It's not going to be very cold at all tomorrow morning. And as I mentioned, we are going to see those showers developing, especially during the overnight hours. Now, right now, we aren't really seeing anything across really the entire state of Wisconsin, but that is going to change in the evening hours. Still mostly dry as we head into the overnight hours. We are going to see those showers developing.
continue out, but they're mostly going to stay off to the north. Some light rain is possible in Madison, but the more consistent rainfall will be off into the central portion of the state. But then as we get through Friday and into Friday evening, that's when we're likely going to see potentially some heavy rain at times here in Madison. But once again, the heaviest will still be off to the north. It is possible that most of tomorrow, the southern portion of the state may not see much rain at all until we get to the evening hours. But this will continue throughout tomorrow night and into Saturday morning. And then it does look like by Saturday afternoon, we will see most of the rain clear out of the area. But the central portion of the state is going to continue to see some rainfall. So here in Madison, not going to be too bad. But further up north, even probably north of the Dells, up near Camp Douglas, Camp Douglas and Black River Falls, that's where some more consistent heavy rain is possible, maybe even up to an inch. And as I mentioned, throughout the Saturday, it's maybe some light rain in the morning, but much of Saturday will actually be fairly dry. Now here's a look at Metro Future Cast for tomorrow. The temperatures aren't going to be impacted by the rain at all, which is the good news. Highs will be in the lower 70s. Chance of showers, especially up north throughout the day, but we likely will see some rain here in Madison during the evening hours. And then for your Saturday, in general, partly sunny and breezy. It's going to be nice again, but it is going to be a little bit more windy. There's a chance of showers in the morning, but for the most part, Saturday is looking relatively dry. And the good news looking towards next week is we are going to consistently see high temperatures in the 70s, maybe even close to 80 some days. But we do have several chances of storms starting Sunday evening. Most of the day Sunday will be relatively dry, but next week there are going to be several chances of storms, but I don't expect there to be a washout every single day. It likely will storm for maybe about 20 to 30 minutes, but then as we get, there will be dry portions of each of these days, and those temperatures are going to remain calm. So definitely don't cancel any plans you have, but definitely just keep on alert because there is the chance for those storms. And you may need an umbrella. And speaking of umbrellas, we are still doing our umbrella contest. For those that haven't heard about this, here's how it works. All you have to do is submit your personal weather pictures to firstworn at WISCTV.com. The email address is right there on screen or through the weather app. These can be pictures of snow, rain, hail, or any other kind of weather-related photos. The weather team here will then select a photo, and whoever's picture is selected will win a first-worn weather umbrella. And we are still giving away several umbrellas, so there are still multiple chances to win and we will announce a new winner every weekday 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So tune in at 6 p.m. to find out if maybe you or whoever will win the free first worn umbrella. Unfortunately, we are going to be needing them uh, quite a bit the next week or so. But like I mentioned, the temperatures are going to remain mild. Hey, warm rain is yeah. way better than the cold <laughs> rain we had the last couple of days. Exactly. And like I mentioned, most of those days, it probably will only be storming for maybe a, only about 20 to 30 minutes. But my guess is the, the rest of the day, for the most part, will be relatively dry. Still going to be warm, though. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the consistent 70s in the forecast. Love to hear it. Jacob, thank you. Hey, there's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Up next, we'll see what Mr. Howard, Howard is working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Over the years, we've made our fair share of cheesecakes here in the Test Kitchen, but the one we're making today may just be one of our best. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Have you avoided getting home renovations because of, you know, the cost, the hassle, the stress? Let's face it, home renovation is broken, but we're fixing it. When you work with Renuity, your renovation can be completed in as little as one day. That's nothing to ink about. Looking to update your bath or shower? Our design and installation experts can help create a space that transforms your bathroom fast. Because no one should have to go without a bath or shower for days. I can't believe how fast Renuity brought my bathroom to life. One of the first things we do when people come through is we take them to the bathroom <laughs> so they can see. You could spend the day there if you really wanted to. We have styles and looks you'll love, from traditional to contemporary. Or maybe you're making a change to maintain safety and independence. We can help. And we offer a limited lifetime warranty on all new tubs or showers, so you can feel confident in your purchase. Call or go online to schedule your free in-home consultation. Our experts will work with you to create a plan that meets your needs and fits your budget. Call or go online and get free installation on a new bath or shower. And special financing is available with no payments, no interest until 2025. Plus, act now and receive a $50 gift card. Transform your dated bath or shower. We make it quick, easy, and affordable. You're just one day away from improving your home and your life. 
We could not have asked for a better bathroom, a better project, for better contractors. People say it's a shower, I know, but a shower can make such a difference. Call or go online today to schedule your free in-home consultation. Plus, take advantage of this special offer. Don't just do it, renew it in as little as one day. With Renewity. Not our guys. Call 1-608-453-6983. That's 1-608-453-6983. Or go to RenewityUSA.com. What's at the top of your home improvement list? Did you say better insulation? Because better insulation makes everything you do in your home better. Even just walking in the front door on a hot day. So get ready for summer now with USA Premium Foam. It keeps the hot air out, the cool air in, and your electric bills lower. And right now during Home Improvement Month, our labor is free. You pay for the foam, and we'll put it in for free. But that ends May 31st. USA Insulation. You know, over the years, we've made our fair share of cheesecakes here in the Test Kitchen. Not only have we replicated the classic New York-style cheesecake, but we've also gone fancy with holiday versions like pumpkin cheesecake and peppermint swirl. However, my new favorite is an old-world Italian cheesecake that's highlighted by the richness of ricotta. To whip this up at home, all you have to do is beat some cream cheese and ricotta cheese together. To that, we add some sour cream, a good amount of sugar, a few eggs, a little vanilla, some melted butter, and a bit of flour. This goes into a springform pan and gets baked until the center is set. A couple of things you want to remember. Make sure you don't overmix it and you want to let it cool slowly in the oven after it bakes so it doesn't crack. Once your cheesecake is chilled, garnish it with a few berries and it's ready to serve. Creamy, yes. Easy, you bet it is. Rave worthy, we'll let you be the judge of that. To get the recipe for our ricotta cheesecake with berries, all you have to do is visit our website. Mm -hmm. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Where today we found an old world way for you mm. to say, ooh, it's so mm. good. This is delicious. Oh. All right, it's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. Let's meet Eddie Max. Hi, buddy. Eddie likes people and warms up to them quickly, but his foster family says introductions to new folks should be done slowly. His eyesight and hearing are limited, so he startles easily, but look what a cutie he is. Eddie has a lot of energy. He loves exploring, going for walks and chewing on squeaker and crinkle toys. He's looking for a quiet home where he can be the only dog or share the space with a low energy friend. I think Bascom would really get along with Eddie. Hey, if you're still looking to entertain the kids this summer, Camp Paw Print Summer Break has a few openings in June and July. Kids ages 7 to 12 can enjoy animal interactions, lessons from experts, and other games with animal lovers. Groups will also complete service projects for the shelter. To learn more and register, give shelter.org slash camp. And a happy update here. Last week's pet, Saint the dog, has been adopted. Look at that face. We're so glad to hear it. Some good news here on News 3 Now at Noon. Now, if you're interested in adopting Eddie Max, that sweet boy, or checking out any other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, head on over to giveshelter.org. All right, Jacob's back with a final look at that forecast. Jacob. Well, we're going to continue to be fairly nice for the next seven days. Tomorrow, we are going to see temperatures in the 70s again. For the most part, mostly dry. Chances of storms next week, but still mild. All right, Jacob, thank you so much. And thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at Noon, folks. We'll be right back here for Live at 4.